with this video, I wanna show you how to possibly produce this kind of promotional video, in our case, for a burger company. A really simple explainer video with some sound, with some example burgers which we sell, some prices, some calories, and a little information about visiting the store. This time, for all resources, I'm using Envato Elements. A huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. If you by any chance do not know Envato Elements, it's a website where with one subscription you get access to millions of graphic resources for any type of project. The resources include videos, music, sound effects, graphics, even PowerPoint templates. So really, you can gather all resources on one website. Below this video there will be a link with a discount for the first month if you'd like to check it out. I can only endorse it because look what I found when I wanted to create this type of project. I went into presentation templates, I selected PowerPoint and I've typed in food in the search. The results are of course overwhelming, there are many many presentations uh, on the topic of food, so plenty of templates and I've selected this one. I've selected Xena for myself and the way you use Envato Elements, you press on download, you add it to a project you are currently doing and you simply select add and download. Then you select a place to download it, I will download it on my desktop, save and this is how I gathered all the resources for this presentation. Later on I went into photos and I've just typed in burger and I've selected a couple of wonderful burger photos, super high quality, absolutely ready to use for our promotional videos and I was basically done with gathering all the resources. If it's difficult to find, Envato always tries to help you with some tags like happy and this is exactly the sound I wanted to like get from the site. As you can hear, this sound commercially enough so it will be perfect for this type of product. The next day. Once all this is done, I'm completely ready to work. The way I work when I use PowerPoint templates, I do not need like all of those templates at once. So I'm usually, oh, hello, hello, that's me. I'm usually opening PowerPoint. Then I'm opening this um, presentation template in a separate PowerPoint file because there's a very slim chance that I need all the slides that you see here. I watch those slides for a couple of seconds and I decided for myself that I want only the first slides, those are completely fine to create this type of simple promotional video. I'm selecting the first slide, I'm pressing shift, I'm selecting the fifth slide and as you can see all five slides were selected. Control C, I'm going to another presentation, I'll right click mm, add a separator a section, I'll call it section 2 and here I press Control V to paste all the slides. I make sure that when pasting I keep the source formatting by pressing K. All right. Now I know that I've copied this template to my new file. I do not need this template anymore. I can work here. And what's great about this template? I can simply drag and drop pictures and I will be ready with the work. So how easy is that? Let me find the folder. I'm getting a bit confused with my work. Desktop, foodie video, pictures. I wanted the first picture to be a big burger picture. Without any further ado, I just drag and drop this picture into the presentation. What I needed to change, because I didn't like that this was mm, on the side, this was rotated, so I just took this entire design. Actually, I want to take this group and I just rotate it over with my shift key. Of course, I should change the text. I did change the text to eat, eat, eat. Maybe this time I'll call it meat eat. On the background, I see some blue text. I need to select the blue text and again, meat eat or meet eat and this is how you can produce a high quality video like that and this was the first slide complete then i've decided which slides look the best i decided that this slide will be absolutely perfect to present a burger and of course the text should be changed but for the sake of a tutorial i'll not change the text i wanted to delete this text and if you cannot select it on a slide like, like this one could be selected, if you cannot click on it, it means that it is most likely set on the Slide Master. You want to go to View, Slide Master, and as you can see, those, and this is somewhere on this template. Here is the master slide, the, the big one. So I just take this, I delete it, 
and all below slides will no longer have it. So how did we continue? I had two slides with burgers. I've just decided that this will look good. So again, I'm reverting back to my pictures and this is the power of gathering resources on one website where you have everything set and ready to prepare. I do not have to like go and search a burger now. I have a couple of burgers. I just drag and drop it. It basically perfectly works here. I can do minor changes like deleting a portion of this text, making this text bigger by clicking here. And we are basically done with the slide. Apart from changing the text, we have completed this part of the presentation. Then going to the next slide, you can do the same. Oh, I see we still have here. Here it was manually added. Again to the pictures. Now the second burger. Perfectly. I do not even have to crop it. It sits perfectly on the slide. Uh, maybe the prices. The prices actually do not look so good. I prefer this look. I just take it. Control C. I paste it on this slide and I put it here. Look how easy it is to work with templates. You just copy and paste elements and basically everything is pre-designed. I'm not particularly fond about this font. It's hard to say for me, uh, but I'll leave it at, at that. I do not want more. I do not like those slides. Mm, I need an ending slide and the ending slide could look like the first slide. So I could even take this first slide. I could control C and control V it into this place again and maybe like something like a thank you see on place um, depending on how you want to say it and of course a different picture would be also preferred I do not like like uh, to repeat the same picture I need to search if I have a picture I had this one prepared for the ending slide and this is perfect I just drag and drop and now I notice that I somehow deleted the text I'm sorry for my mistakes I'll copy the text, I'll paste it here. And now you can decide if the photo is okay for you or, or the photo should be like uh, clockwise. Picture format, crop. If you work with PowerPoint templates, you do not always have to work exactly like the template looks. You can change whatever you like, but try to save as much time as possible by using what is already designed. All right, here I have a picture like that. Of course, I click away by mistake. So I need to crop again make this bigger, crop, and perfect. This, this text, I would put it on the middle, and we are basically done. Now, to not make it so boring, we need a couple of animations and the music. I will turn my sound on because I want to hear the music as well. So I will select track number one, and it was that one. I'll make it quieter just for the sake of this video. And this, this is a really good like commercial music. The way you work with music in PowerPoint, you click on the music and you select play in background. Now this entire music will play in the background of this video. So if I start this slide, let me go to animations, animation pane, you can see an animation is added. Boom, the music plays. But the little problem we have, the slides do not proceed and we have no animation here. So this is what I want to change. I want to go to transitions and I want each slide to take about four seconds. It's completely enough just to get you interested in a burger and move forward. So instead of having a mouse click, I will select after, I'll deselect this and I'll select after four seconds. I could do it in bulk for all the slides by selecting the first one, shift clicking the last one. So all four slides are selected after four seconds, and on mouse click is deselected. And I will press fade for all the slides. Now all four slides with one edit have, I need to deselect. Uh, it happens that I didn't deselect the on mouse click, so I have to do it by hand, but I've edited in bulk. I've added a fade transition and I made all slides to stay on the screen for four seconds. Now, if you wanna up your game a little bit, you could also apply animations to it. I will show you another little super shortcut when it comes to working with PowerPoint. I will actually go to insert shapes, insert shapes, and I will insert any given shape, like, like a rectangle. I will animate this rectangle and I will move this rectangle over to other slides to shorten the time uh, in which I do animations. Let me show you how. I want one animation to be consistent across all, all the elements here. So I go to animations, 
and I animate this rectangle with a fly-in. Okay, we have a fly-in applied to it. I'll change the effect options to maybe from right. Okay, I'll put it on the screen so I see what's happening. From right. Perfect. Now I want to extend the duration to one second. I want to right click with previous. So it starts automatically on the slide. You can see what I mean here. See, it starts automatically. But I do not like the motion. The motion is very static. So what I wanted to do, I want to double click on the animation here on the green part effect and I want to give it a smooth end so it comes faster in the screen and then slows down okay perfect and this is exactly the animation I want to apply to all the elements on this on this presentation what do I mean with apply to all when I'm actually animating a rectangle now the big trick here is you can click on an element when you are on the animation tab you can go to the animation painter and you can click on any given element and it will inherit all the animation options. Now I'll take this rectangle, control X, go to the next slide, control V, and I can apply all the same animations to the elements we have here. If I click and select, I can quickly preview that this is element number one, two, three, and the prices could be number four. Perfect. For each, I just click on this element, animation painter, Boom. Animation Painter, boom. Animation Painter, boom. And Animation Painter, boom. Perfect. The only thing you need to change, you need to select those three objects and you need to change the animation in the effect options to fly in from left because it did look weird when it flied from the right side. Now, you can stagger the animations to make everything look a bit better. This is animation number one, this animation, delay half a second, delay one second, and delay 1.5 seconds. We still have a bit room because this slide is staying on the screen for four seconds, but this would be the end result. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Everything nicely animated. And for all of that, we magically used this one element and we just copied the animation over. Control X, Control V it here. Again, animation painter, animation painter, Animation Painter, I must click away because it's previewing the anim Animation Painter, boom. This one, Effect Options from left, and I will stagger them again. Half a second, one second, um, two seconds, 1.5. Is that okay? That's, oh, maybe I shouldn't do the delay here because the yellow is the first one. It doesn't matter, it's completely fine. I go to the next slide and we are completely ready. Animation Painter, boom deleting the, the yellow one, and our entire presentation is complete. Now, I want to preview if I done right by Shift F5 to start from this slide. Music is okay. Slide proceed. Maybe they could proceed a bit faster. It depends on your preference. This is perfect. You are showcasing your product. You are ending the presentation. Oh, I see I made a mistake here on the left side. I could simply I could simply extend uh, this photograph and this would be now beyond it. This is how you can complete a type of promotional video which is completely ready to export. I can press file, export, create a video and I can create a video from it right away. A video with music, with animations, a complete promotional package done in my case, with help of Envato Elements. This is what I wanted to show you in this video, the advantage of using a website like that, because not only can you gather all resources in one place, but you are also getting premium resources. Those are not just random resources that you can find on the web. Those are premium restricted resources, which you only get a license to use when you have a subscription. So I strongly recommend looking into it. You can of course try to create something like that with free items as well. It would just take you a bit longer and it's a bit more tedious. So if you wanna up your game and be more professional, definitely consider the website. It was a great pleasure to record this video. L remember about the link in the description if you wanna start and to use Envato. If not, thank you very much for watching and I hope you've learned a ton from this video still. Thank you and see you in other ones like that.